out that uh, one of the major roadblocks to our food success was that the food was very easily accessible. The junk. Because it was in the house. <laughs> because yours truly <laughs> likes to buy in large quantities at the grocery store. To save herself a trip. And yours truly likes to eat the junk food in large quantities. So like <laughs> three bags of chips and packages of cookies and stuff for the freezer. It gets ridiculous. And you're about to see how ridiculous. There is a reason we are the size we are. Ain't that the truth? Mm. Indeed. On Sunday, we decided to do something drastic. We realized that having the cupboards crammed with chips and cookies, well, not just the cupboards, the freezer was pretty. The freezer was full of processed junk. I mean, it was too easy to grab bad things, right? So somehow, some way, we got excited at the same time, on the same day, about the same thing, and then we did something crazy. It just doesn't happen very often. It doesn't happen very often, so we leaped at the opportunity. We sure did, we jumped in with all four feet. I would highly recommend you do this for yourself if you're struggling with any kind of poor eating habits. This might actually help you out. We're gonna get rid of all the crap inside the house. So we have popcorn, uh, Maui onion chips. Oh my God, they're so good. There's, there's like crumbs in here. Um, we love that with hell of a dip. Yeah. These are garlic Pita crackers. You know the story about these. These are the same packages that were in a different video and still mostly uneaten. This is still taped up. Then we have Kev's KD stash. And then we have these that have been sitting there for a while. These are stale and so are those. Now for the true test. Are we committed or are we not? Shall we tackle the freezer? There's the first casualty. Bye-bye. <gasps> these are cookies from Taco. Brownie! <laughs> wow. Eggnog. I bought it at Christmas and froze it in containers like this so I could put it in my coffee. And I have multiple containers like this. Oh my God, there's a second bag of ginger cookies. Kev, those are the raspberry shortbread cookies from Costco. I wish I didn't find these. And they are so good. But we have friends who love those, so they too shall be leaving. Wow, you're really getting a window into how we got to be the size we are. Here we have pierogies. These are two out of, I think, five bags of fries we bought. These are the spring rolls from Costco. This is hash brown patties. We're getting rid of all this stuff. Kev's coming with more. What you got, Kev? Oh, more eggnog, more fries. I'm embarrassed, but it's enlightening. We also have here some pre-packaged chicken parmesan. Three containers of ice cream because it was on sale. Oh my God. In here is a whole bunch of dairy, which I can no longer consume, that I also had in the freezer. I was drinking eggnog every single day, not just Christmas, for about two months. This is the updated eggnog stash. Something super smart that we just came up with is, what about like a snack bag of chips so that it's eaten in one go and it's done. There's no more chips to eat tomorrow, right? Right. So from now on, when we want chips and dip, because it's not a sin to have it now and then, we'll just buy a snack bag and the tiniest little container of hell of a dip and just, just go at it. That also doesn't mean we buy a big flat of snack bag chips. It just means Absolutely we buy no. a bag. Costco is not your friend. Kevin and I just finished hoofing our butts. I literally feel sweat dripping from me. Gross. This guy has upped his running game. Holy smokes. I did say earlier that my knee was suffering, but it's not as bad. Good for you, babe. Thank you. But also, I just wanted to say that somebody along the trail saw Kev running and me speed walking behind him. And they said, good job. And I just want to tell you that for people who are bigger and who are outside moving their bodies, never think to yourself, 
oh, should I say something? Or are they gonna be offended that maybe I'm implying they're overweight or they never do this? I think it's pretty clear, you know, that we're struggling. So saying good job to some random stranger who's busting their ass, go for it. Just go for it. Don't make apologies. Feel free to encourage. When you say? I agree. It used to be all I had to do was go, Kel, I want a glass of wine, but there isn't any. And he would dash out to the store, buy me a bottle. Okay, he'd buy me two. He's a very doting husband. He's probably like the most doting husband you would ever find, which is exactly what I wanted. Am I the most doting husband you've ever had? Yes. Good. <laughs> And we've recently made this pact that if we want a treat, we are individually responsible to go out and get that treat. I'm not allowed to use my little cow. It That's won't work. very effective. Well, he says it won't work now. We'll see, but he says oh, it What didn't the other night? You were very successful at I denying was. me Bailey's. Yes, I was. That's love. It didn't feel like love in the moment. I, feel like it. I felt like I needed to apologize for not going out. See, and that's the hook. That's where we all need to learn that actually saying, no, I'm not gonna go get you Bailey's, or I'm at the grocery store. No, I'm not gonna buy you Diet Pop, Kev. No, I'm not gonna buy you three chocolate bars so you have a stash. No, I'm not gonna do that because that isn't love. That's sabotage. It is. And we're not sabotaging each other anymore, are we? No. We've okay. done that for a long time. We've done that for 15 years. 15. Hey, I don't feel like being on the wagon. Let me drag you down with me by buying you this treat you can't resist. <laughs> right? We've all been there. But we are both recognizing that love is actually saying, sorry, honey, no. Instead of the chocolate bar, how would you like an apple cut up into slices? Let me get you a bowl of pineapple. Mm. Mm. Would you like some sugar snap peas and dip? I will get that for you. Esta vez sin ti ya que era eterno working on this 1,700 calories a day, down from 1,900 calories, in my superhuman goal to get to 1,200 calories a day. Let me just say this, I don't know that I'm gonna count calories for the rest of my life, or if I'm even gonna count calories till I get to 1,200 a day. By which time you'll have a pretty good idea of. I, I am learning as I go. Range. It's amazing what I've learned already. Some things I just know, and, and I'm not gonna have to count calories, I'll just live in the moment. Living in the moment is important to me, but, so far, 1,700 calories a day is working. It's harder than 1,900 calories a day, but it's working. More on that in future videos. include today's highlighted recipe, kale, coconut, cashew salad, and it's sublime. The link to the recipe is in the description notes. Feel free to make it for yourself. Yummy. We're so grateful just that you showed up. Remember, 
If you have a suggestion or you're just sitting there one day minding your own beeswax, you think, man, those less bun more meters should do this. Let us know in the comments. We know you think about us all the time. Thank you all for watching. Thank you. Again, we do appreciate we everything. We appreciate you.